then so for someone who's beginner looking to get into sound design, what would be your advice? How do you get started learning sound design or what are the sound design fundamentals or what well, is sound design really? Maybe even back up a little bit. Well, sound, the, well, you can go for two, two places. You can sound design from a uh, scene uh, point of view or, or sound design from movies and creating uh, all these amazing sound effects from uh, a visual standard point no that's a, two different things but i love both so that's <laughs> so i'm saying uh but from to create uh to create uh, f- something from scenes sound design and stuff like that uh the fundamentals uh, at least for me how, how i started and how 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 i got to create these sound banks and stuff like that is is just all about the waveforms like you need to to start different uh to start to start to when you hear one to know which one it is right is it a triangle waveform is it a sound waveform is it both may sometimes it's both like scenes have multiple multiplied oscillators so you get to know them get to know them like from from hearing start to know them hearing them so it's and the then, best way to to learn them just to kind of just listen to them play them a lot. play them in just your scene them. yeah play them in your scene there's there's some good pages i don't remember their name now but to help you with that i can send you the links but it, it takes time i remember like 15 years ago 16 years ago i have this like i listen to a song and i always wonder how they make this how they make that like it was hard for me to 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 visualize where them how they were making that but when you start knowing the scene and and really listening to it it gets easier so the fundamentals are the waveforms always the oscillators then uh, if you get want to get more and more we can talk about it later or or here but for me the fundamentals are, are the waveforms okay yes. so then yeah so what about like using where does i guess the, from there you have like the oscillators and you've got what filters and lfos well, if, we, if we're about talking about recreating some sound or creating for start i start with the waveforms i hear the the attack the release the decay the the acdr ad acer i don't know ad yeah yeah AD, uh, the attack the uh, decay and stuff like that that's important the attack is very important some if you are hearing a pad the attack is longer like one second 50 uh, 500 milliseconds stuff like that so listen to that also then you listen to the filter what is it doing is it uh, cutting all the high frequencies is cutting all the low frequencies some like i love using serum (laughs) so if you hear something funky uh, there's ones called formant ones in inside serum some they have like resonance in some bands so listen to the filter as well then listen to what they like so right now like not not a trend but we are trying to recreate analog scenes in in digital scenes so uh, sometimes you hear these driftings between in the freak no well not the frequency in the tuning so maybe they're assigning an al- LFO to the fine tuning. So you're getting this wobbly, wobbly kind of sound, right? So listen to that as well. And finally, the effects, listen to the effects. It, it takes time, definitely, but you have to, to, to learn so, yeah. what everything is doing, right? Right. So, so it comes down to really understanding, I guess, the synth. So it takes Serum, for example, or right? it could be massive, it could be, you know, a bunch yeah, of them out there. All synths. So yeah. just understanding what the controls are what the what they actually do and then when you're then actually being a critical listener and right understanding the attack right that's how how fast the sound gets to its peak volume right so then yeah just listening to sounds then knowing what decay is and sustain and release and then yeah is it wobbling and what what causes so it's just a matter of kind of being an intentional listener always uh, and then then spending a lot of time doing that yeah you have to listen closely every detail of the sound like so people don't realize when something finish abruptly and they say, oh, 
just put your release at zero, you don't have any release and, and you don't have a tail of the sound. And sometimes they do a lot of those things in the basses and stuff like that. You have to be very careful of, of what, what you're hearing and and try to recreate. You're, you're going to fail. I failed multiple times. And some sounds I, I remember, I, I just couldn't. But when you get better, you you just get back to it and you can make it. Hey, if you want more help producing professional quality music from home or finishing more music faster, then be sure to grab my rapid song finishing checklist in the description below or go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash mixing checklist. Inside, you'll discover the proven step-by-step -step mixing system for creating radio-worthy music from home. You'll discover this one crucial step that you need to do before mixing to get high-quality mixes. You'll learn a proven step-by-step -step mixing order so you'll know what to do first, second, and third so you're not caught chasing your tail and constantly remixing and remixing and maybe making things sound worse over time. And you'll discover how to quickly master your music for consistent radio work the results every time. Again, this is all inside of a free guide. You can get in the description below or go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash mixing checklist. That being said, if you want some more awesome music production tips and tricks, then be sure to click the video on the screen right now. That'll take you to another great video to help you make better music. With that, have an awesome day and keep creating.